Good evening, it's Brian at Fitzpatrick's Garage up in Road Kildare. Let's have a look around this Honda Civic GT Turbo. Brian is my name. If there's any information you want on this particular car, please do give me a call 086 843 1945 Fitzpatrick's Garage. We are a family run business in operation for almost 70 years. Why did I park it near a white background? That doesn't make any sense, so let's get around. Um, but yeah, family run business in operation for almost 70 years, and we do brands like Hyundai, Honda, Mercedes, and Opel as well, and garages in Nace, Carlo, and Tullamore. So if you're spending a lot of money on a really nice car, like this you know there's going to be an after sale service this is absolutely fabulous this is Civic 1.5 182 horsepower GT turbo this one is a white orchid pearl which is a really really nice color it's not that bright this evening but if you look at this car in we'll say a really sunny evening or yeah, it's just hard to see. There's a lovely fleck on the paint. Unfortunately, it's not really going to show up this evening. Plus, this camera is rubbish, so it doesn't really help anyway. But, what a car. It's so stunning. I actually just literally drove in the back, and one of the guys there that was walking out, he actually just kind of looked and came over to look at it. It's so nice. They're really aggressive. They're definitely one of my favourite cars that we've ever sold here at the garage. They're so cool looking. I'm going to stop saying that now because... Uh, you're probably sick of listening to it, but it is really nice. I really love these cars. So, first significant features. Let's have a quick look around on the outside. This, uh, as a GT, or any one, well, not any 1.5, but 1.5 GT and S design, get a little skirt at the front, so it just brings the car a little bit more aggressive and lower at the bottom. The front fog lights are an LED. The headlights are a really cool LED full and dip. The indicators are really cool LEDs, and then down through here, big long parking light, daytime running light, nice side runners in through there. So, that is the front of the car, there's also parking sensors in through there. I love the way everything's black, and especially on the white, it goes so well together. And actually what's nice about these, is when you see the cars coming towards you on the road, they have a black roof as well, which kind of really complements the black grille and the big black grills down through the bottom section of the bumper as well. And the reason the roof is black is because it has a panoramic roof, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, engine under here is VTEC Turbo, 182 horsepower. That car all day long is about 7.9 seconds up to 100 kilometers an hour, but no problem whatsoever. Like we've had a few of these now, a good few of them, and they're all in around, actually, hold on a sec. I'm gonna check the trip computer. I bet you it's around six or so liters or something like that, which is, you know, and you can do better, but like that's actually what they do. Turbo meter, oh my God. Not using it properly, come on. Okay, so, yeah, six liters, and that's the average that the previous owner was doing. And he wasn't spared it, that's 4,600 uh, kilometers of driving on that trip at six liters per hundred kilometers. So, you know, he wasn't trying to get really, really super fuel efficiency, but that's actually that what he ended up doing, which is about 45 miles per gallon, actually it's 47 technically. But like, for 182 horsepower, and like, the car is actually great crack to drive, I would be living quite happily with 6 litres per 100 kilometres all day long, every day. The wheels in the car are a nice 17-inch diamond cut wheel. So as you see up close, there's a nice shiny reflective surface off them. Um, they're in very, very good condition. The car's done about 17,000 kilometres. Um, as you see then, it's priced very appropriately with a discount on it. Uh, previous owner. Uh, the reason we actually acquired the car is it is no longer suitable for his current needs and that does happen sometimes so um, But the car is in very very nice condition. He's done a really good job looking after it Second thing on a 1.5 in a GT nice skirt all the way down through the side Looking down the side of the car as you'd expect it's absolutely perfect in terms of condition and all that kind of stuff Rear wheel is in excellent condition Round to the back there is LED tail lights keeping on the theme of LED Parking sensors are standard along the back. And down here then, you have this really cool exhaust. Looks all very, very uh, complex with all sorts of shapes going on, but it's really, really good. And it's not too loud. It's one of those things that when you start the car, there's a nice little hum out of it, so you know the car is something special, but it's not making noises or drones or anything like that when you're driving up the road. And just to give you an idea of what it sounds like, I'm just trying to set the camera on the ground. Just give me one sec. So you know, basically, that the car is not your average kind of car. A little bit of a sound coming out of it, definitely not loud, you wouldn't. A small bit, only a really, really small bit, but enough to know that the car is definitely something special. And every time I get into the car and I start it and I get that kind of hum off it, kind of makes me feel like it's something special, so I really, really like it. Privacy glass is 
standard on the back. Car is warm by the way, just in case anyone's looking and thinking I'm being really hard in the car. The car only revs to four and a half thousand like that when it stopped and the car is warm so completely safe to do so, not harmful for the car whatsoever. Rear spoiler is up high which is colour coded, air travels down under there and then out through the bottom. Gives a bit of downforce but let's face it, okay we don't need that for a road car but um, the main thing is it channels air off the back of the car in a very efficient way and that's probably why we're getting six litres per hundred kilometres. In terms of the rear, actually I must show you the boot for a sec, this car has not been cleaned. Let me just point that out. We actually took the car in like this. So condition is very, very good. And then we have this guy here that comes across and that's our back tray. And people used to complain it's flimsy and it's so not, right? Because if you load up, I went on holidays two years in a row in a GT, in two different GTs. And both times we ended up running out of space. But once we had this kind of tray, it allowed us to pile up stuff even higher. And then there's this area up here so people can't see in. So that meets that so people cannot see into the boot of your car, which is quite useful. Uh, back seats don't look like they've been used really. Three uh, head restraints, three three-point safety belts, armrest up through the centre with drinks holder, plenty of room in the back of the car, and then it's a nice place to be because you've got the big panoramic roof. Speakers back through here, tweeters in through here because we have a GT to give better uh, sound. This, as a GT, has keyless entry, so it means I can walk up to the car. Actually, I'm gonna turn it off here for a sec. So it means I can walk up to the car. First of all, I'm going to lock it just to show you. There is a full closure function on the car. So if you watch the sunroof and the windows, they've all retracted. So I can do that from the key and similarly I can unlock from the key. But the next thing is then, the key's in my hand, the other, in my other hand. If I walk up, listen to this, put my hand in, it's opened up, so I can now open it. And then if I want to lock it, lock and just walk away. So that's all pretty damn cool. And then the wing bears come in, but watch again. Put in there, open it up, wing mirror pops back out. So, very useful, usual stuff in here like electrics for windows and mirrors and stuff. Push, button, start. So basically it's white, now it's red. And then I need to get into the car, put my foot on the clutch, it goes solid red. Press the button, nice hum out of the car, it starts up. Right, uh, USB in through there. Fine, more USB over through here with HDMI so you can play a video and all that kind of stuff up through here. Parking brake is automated, brake hold to stop you rolling backwards in a hill. Adaptive damper, so if I press this, it actually basically makes the dampers more stiff on the car, so harder suspension for increased cornering capabilities. Econ, which is going to reduce how aggressive the air conditioner is, stop start at the traffic light. Wireless charging on the phone because we're in a GT. Heating controls over through here. Heating controls, uh, sorry, heating controls in heated seat, I mean, for the driver, heated seat for the passenger. After that then, up through the centre, uh, I'm just going to close this for a sec, so just to show you real quick, you can basically have that covered, or not covered, and then I can let this back, and it opens all the way back, and I can still use the cover independently on it. So that's how that works, I'm going to let it forward, because I want a bit more darkness in through here, I'm going to close the door, so... Those lights will go off because they're a little bit annoying. Right, so as we said then, heated seats in through here, heating controls over here, so it's uh, automatic climate control. The light is not so good at this point of the evening, so the camera's struggling a bit. Front, um, windscreen demister, rear windscreen demisters with the wing mirrors. Climate control in through here for, and it's all touch and swipe, so it's quite easy to use. On or off air conditioning, mode where you want the air to blow. And then after that, I can go back in to turn off the climate back into my own home screen, agree that if I crash the car I'm an idiot, it's my fault. And then after that, um, navigation's in through there, audio, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff, general settings. Smartphone connection, quite cool, because what it's doing is basically uh, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, and it's bringing up things like Google Maps and Spotify and WhatsApp and all that stuff. Headlights are automated, so they come on at night, but they also are auto dip. So when you meet traffic, they actually dip themselves. After that then, I'm just going to try and get this camera to refocus, it's probably struggling just with the time of evening. Um, wipers are automated so they come on themselves. Cruise control is in through here with lane change warning, so it can change lane. Uh, sorry, lane change warning to stop you drifting out of lane. And then if you see up here on the screen, if I set that, oh my god, the zooming and focus has gone so bad. Really sorry about this if you're watching it. And I wouldn't mind, like, it's not that dark outside. Uh, I'm just going to reverse back out. Please the rest press it. the brake pedal to release the camera. Camera's in through there. And. Um, okay, I'm just going to let this 
maybe the so that's your camera basically it's got different settings for what way you want it in terms of uh, the actual view that's behind you and then there's cross monitor so if someone comes from the left or the right it's actually watching the move and it'll warn you um, so as you we were saying cruise control and all that kind of stuff in through here and what that's doing up there then is I can set that basically so it'll try and keep me within the lanes or it'll also follow the car in front in terms of how far do I want to stay behind the car in front 342 car lengths um, which is up to their lane keep assist or adaptive cruise control anyway um, I can show you that better if you come to look at the car this trip meter in here then for average speed fuel efficiency turbo meter all that kind of stuff there navigation information speed zone recognition all that kind of stuff is in through there as well so apologies about how bad the light is in here at the moment parking sensors on and off lane change warning we talked about headlight washers autonomous braking which under 32 kilometers an hour if you're following a car it stops in front of you you don't react it'll actually react for you uh, aluminium pedals down low in through here um, seat is obviously full adjustable in terms of height there's lumbar support for lower back passenger also gets lumbar support as well in through there driver passenger airbags side airbags in through here curtain airbags up high so in terms of safety they are extremely safe all those doors have steel bars for side impact protection there's anti-lock brakes emergency brake distribution emergency brake assist um, unfortunately the camera yeah it's not doing too good at this point of the evening but there we go uh, I'll do this video again if it's worked out really really badly so hopefully it hasn't but if it has I'll have to do another one um, that is our GT 1.5 GT Turbo uh, 280 euros a year for road tax you know nearly 47 miles well not nearly actually 47 miles per gallon or 6 litres per 100 kilometres uh, for 182 horsepower that is great crack seriously they are really really good fun to drive and that is great value um, I mean the car will say is after taking a year's depreciation now and it's still within the current year uh, so it's great value for someone that was considering a brand new one who never got a chance or never got around to buying one there's some serious value in the likes of this car here we can take your trade in we can organize finance all that kind of stuff please do give me a shout 086-843-1945 brian is my name fitzpatrick's garage kildare town um, and if you want any information before you travel please free to feel free to give me a shout before you travel because i've no problem giving you an idea what your car is worth and rough ideas on finance and all that kind of stuff warranty on the car runs until 2021 and aa cover till 2021 as well and so far these cars have been extremely reliable for us considering that they're i would say it's not a hot hatch but it's a warm hatch um gorgeous car love it uh so please do give me a shout 086 843 1945 thanks for taking time to watch hopefully this honda civics have interest to you